Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to write style sheet declaration. So, we have taken one simple notepad file in which we have first write XML version. Now, after writing XML version, you have to write certain elements by which you can declare XSL style sheet. The root element that declares the document to be an XSL style sheet is XSL style sheet or XSL transport. Means you can declare XSL, you can declare XSL style sheet by two elements or by two ways by using XSL style sheet or XSL transform. Note here XSL style sheet and XSL transform are completely synonyms and either it can be used. The correct way to declare XSL style sheet according to W3C XSLT recommendation is like this. Now let's see how to write XSL style sheet declaration according to W3C XSLT recommendation. First write XSL style sheet which is the XSL style sheet element. After that write version is equal to 1.0 and then XML NS XSL and define the complete namespace of XSL which is extensible style sheet language. Now I am defining namespace or a path of XSL standard which is the W3C recommendation HTTP www w3 dot org slash 1999 slash for what you want to retrieve the standard I want to retrieve standard for XSL and then slash and transform and last complete the XSL style sheet element tag. So we have declared the style sheet declaration using XSLT style sheet element. Now if you want to declare the style sheet declaration using the transform element then you have to write XSL transform and all other things are same as a style sheet declaration. So I have to copy version 1.0 XMLNS XSL is equal to HTTP www.w3.org 199 XSL transform and complete the XSL tag. So this is the style sheet declaration using two methods. To get access to the XSLT elements, attributes and feature we must declare the XSLT namespace at the top of document which we have declared using this. So this is the namespace declaration to access elements, attributes and feature of XSLT and it is the official W3C XSLT namespace. If you use this namespace you must also include the attribute version 1.0. So this is about how to declare XSLT style sheet. Thank you.